Hello everyone, Bashar here. We are together with another raid video, and this time I have uh, you an improvement on the <coughs> uh, Iron Twins team. I actually had the Shogun team on the screen, which I already did a video for. So let's get to it. So uh, if you recall, you know I had I had you know shown you the you know two turn block damage champion, three pain keepers, and a geo or a cold heart team, right? And that team is you know a little bit slow depending on your you know. With geo it's a little bit more solid, but with uh, cold heart it would also depend on your gear and it would go you know upwards of like uh, three minutes even sometimes. Uh, because you have just one damage, right? So Emic, as you can see in the team, uh, he does something weird, and I'm not very sure if he bugs the boss out or does something, but his taunt uh, in conjunction with his uh, unkillable uh, gets the boss to do some weird stuff. Because the thing is, guys, when the boss first came out, uh, he was not ignoring unkillable and people were soloing the boss with Paragon. So Palladium said in high levels of the dungeon uh, below 40% HP the boss will start ignoring unkillable boss, right? But He doesn't kill the team, right? You will see. So why do I, you know, suggest this team? As you can see, there is a huge difference here between the first team and second team. We did, this time we have two damages instead of one, right? And so the round goes very smoothly, right? Uh, and most of the time it stays below a minute. So what's the variance here? Uh, the variance is that Geomancer's HP burn could resist it or Geomancer could apply the HP burn and it could get immediately removed, right? Because there are, uh, is some random stuff here. Uh, so what do we have here? So Emic basically replaces a painkeeper and the block damage champion, right? That's insane. So he takes the spot of the two champions uh, in our previous team because we had a two turn block damage champion and three painkeepers. Because Emic emulates what painkeeper does, he is able to you know take the role of the painkeeper and the block damage champion because of his um, um, unkillable. So the speeds, but you know, take this with a, a grain of salt, right? Uh, because they are extremely narrow. So the speed sets you put on champions, I will put it in detail, but I will explain in detail thing is guys no set in the game that gives speed gives you a flat amount of speed right they all give you percentage speed you know perception is five percent righteous is ten percent uh, protection uh, divine speed speed they all give twelve percent right uh, I, I also believe instinct also gives twelve percent kill stroke gives you five percent and even if I skip a few it's not very important the thing is there is no plus five speed set, right? They are always percentage. And the thing is, that means, right? And that's why uh, tuning teams can be uh, complicated for, you know, relative new players. So what that means is, for example, as you can see, Emic has 105 speed. So if I equip a speed set on Emic, that will give him 12% speed, which will be 12.60 speed, right? That is 12% of 105. And that means his speed will be fractional, but the game does not uh, display fractional speeds, right? So it just says 271, right? And <coughs> those fractions can make a difference. That's the problem. Because some tunes are, you know, just extremely narrow. So it's important. And also there is a mastery called Lord of Steel that gives you... Uh, we don't have it here. I think we have it on Geo. We do have it here. That gives you 5% of what you get from sets as base stats. That means uh, because we have double perception on this geo, it will give us some speed, right? I mean, if we take a look here, as you can see, it gives one speed and 
72 accuracy because obviously uh, we don't get 72 accuracy from that mastery we have the 10 and 50 here so that's 60 so it gives 12 more accuracy so whatever you get from sets it gives you five percent more so how does it work let's take a look so Amy has 271 speed he is tanky it's important that he is tanky if you make him you know if you make him just 271 speed and very squishy sometimes he can die because i think the thing is that i told you the boss ignores uh unkillable right and the thing is i think the hit that ignores unkillable is actually doing very little damage and i suppose that's how emic survives it's a little bit weird but he does survive i mean i'm just going to demonstrate in a minute so emic has 271 speed the unkillable is on the highest priority and the cooldown reduction is second highest priority right and then we have geo uh, he is operating on 253 speed we just give the highest priority to the uh, hp burn you have to do this don't don't forget to do this because but uh, otherwise you will lose run time because uh, we have so much cooldown reduction we actually want to refresh it as much as we can because the boss has a debuff removal mechanic right and the accuracy that you need is around 550s right uh I mean, if the gear is challenging, you can go down as much as around 530s, but it should not be, you know, lower. And keep that in mind. Keep in mind that we are getting, you know, library and upgrades for uh, Iron Twin soon. So that kind of stuff can be handled. And of course, guys, can't you do two cold hearts? Right? You obviously can do two cold hearts. Right? If you wish, right? If you don't want to do accuracy, because the, the best thing about this team is only geo requires accuracy and if you replace her with a cold art him with a cold art there is no one that's going to need accuracy because you don't really want uh you know uh cold hearts um heal reduction here right you don't care you don't want cold arts turn meter reduction because the boss is immune the only thing that you do care uh, is uh you know having you know, high crit damage and uh 70% crit rate because of the built-in extra 30% crit rate here. So call that is going to operate on 223 speed and she will prioritize her heart seeker. The A2 is not necessary. Well, you could keep it on too, right? You could also keep this one on. These are not, of course, important. And then comes the other part of the combo. We will have two pain keepers uh, operating at 250 and 247 speed and both will prioritize A1, A2 over A3 uh and they need to be fully booked of course so their cooldown is you know brought to the minimum so, and as you can see this painkeeper can actually you know freshly pop from a shard it doesn't matter i just had one painkeeper and i'm using her you know to make the run a little bit faster but you know they could be three star level one painkeepers and thing is painkeeper doesn't get any speed uh, from her ascensions so you know the the gearing will not ge be getting any easier or any harder but if you do have a pain keeper that's built of course that will make the run a little bit uh, faster so what we will do is we will do the unkillable effect uh, once every two turns thanks to the amic pain keeper synergies and geo will put up the hp burn and uh, call that will nuke face and it's going to be very fast let's go So the team is, as I said, beautiful. It works generally under a minute, right? Uh, I mean, we could get unlucky and it could go sometimes a little bit longer, but that's the you know essence of it. As you can see, it's pretty nice. So as you saw there, he just removed the debuffs from himself and attacked us, right? And in that moment, Geo was not able to deflect any more damage, right? see here again and you know sometimes you could deflect that damage and that will of course uh, change the round duration sometimes emic could die not on my team my team i believe is perfectly tuned but uh, if the tune is a little bit wrong sometimes emic could die but it still would work as you can see 50 seconds let's just do my last key the duration is beautiful 
uh, it makes a difference guys because you do this every single day right so if it's like three minutes uh, you're gonna like spend 18 20 minutes and this is going to be like six minutes if you buy the field it's even worse and if you for example uh, did the all score team uh, like in the previous video right uh, your all score cannot be ascended so the team will have a 100% win rate. so that also frees up all score nicely right so I for example have ascended my all score now uh, and using him you know in other stuff 43 seconds and take a look at my best run 35 seconds guys this is insane right uh, so if you don't want to you know bother with accuracy as I said two callouts would work perfectly fine and you don't really need anything other than you know 70% crit rate the required speeds and as high crit damage as you can so of course you know six star you kind of want the six star because you want the 20 crit damage mastery but you know if you are you know trying to save resources you could perfectly have you know cold hearts fresh from the shard right because no one's dying here right uh Amic is going to keep them all up but uh, i had a few very weird fails on some takeovers that i did so it's best that you keep the emic a little bit tankier right and he's a very good champion he can be used in hydra he can be used in uh, sand devil shogun right everywhere so uh, you know just build them tanky and this works so uh, the speeds as i said there are a little bit of fractions involved uh, so I would say just stick to you know base speeds so reach the desired speeds on champions um, without the keeping speed sets uh, I mean uh, Geo will need some sets one way or the other so I'll just go over the thing again Emic 271 speed A3 is prioritized over A2 Geo is 253 speed a3 is prioritized the other stuff doesn't matter uh cold art is on 223 speed her a3 is also prioritized and the pain keepers are 250 and 247 speed respectively and they both have the a2 prioritized over a3 and you know that's gonna work but as i said i mean there are many tunes here right but they are all extremely narrow right so what you can't do is you know uh you do my exact team and it will work right but let's say you found another team that's very similar right you do their pain keeper for example with two speed sets and you know you do everything else with mine there is a very good chance that it might not work so i'm not going to say it will fail right but i will say there is a chance that it will fail and i have done quite a few of these teams right and uh, it is on the knife's edge right it is extremely narrow so i have found something that's working and you know i'm not ever touching it so uh, in my team no one is wearing any speed set so their speeds are exact except for geo and geo has two perception sets and lot of steel i mean if you want to exactly copy the team so let me go over it images as you can see there are no sets that give him speed so he's on exact 271 uh, the pain keeper is 250 that's the spare pain keeper that's 247 as you can see uh, uh, cold heart is this funny fire call 223 again no speed sets and finally geo well in geo you kind of have to because I mean you have to go for 550 accuracy and that's not very easily done without any sets that give speed i mean you especially want to equip um what's the name uh perception so what what is my reason of not upgrading these items right so these because i'm a cheap ass but this one i can't upgrade why because if i upgrade it, it could roll speed and that would uh, team the uh, throw the team off sync right I could also upgrade this one so three of these items I could upgrade but you know I don't really use this champion anywhere else because I have another geo that I'm using you know in other places so this guy has just way too much aggressive and gimped 
So that's it, guys. This team is lovely if you have it, do it. And especially if you are one of the all score squad like I am, that will also free up your all score, which is a pretty great champion in his own right. So I will see you on stream. Bye-bye. If you have any questions, feel free to drop by a comment and I will try to help out. Bye-bye.